GOP candidates running for governor of Illinois faced off for a final time tonight. It's their last debate before the primary Tuesday. WGN Shannon Halligan joining us live from Glen Ellen with more. Shannon. Yeah, four of the six candidates took the stage here at the College of DuPage tonight. This comes just days before the election. State Senator Darren Bailey, former State Senator Paul Schimpf, entrepreneur Jesse Sullivan, and businessman Gary Rabine all faced off. Missing from the debate hosted by AM560 attorney Max Solomon and notably Aurora Mayor Richard Irvin. Irvin was the early front runner. He was backed by $50 million from Ken Griffin, Illinois richest man. Just today, as you mentioned, Griffin announced he was moving his hedge fund Citadel from Chicago to Miami. And that was the first question candidates were asked about tonight. What does the city mean as a financial hub? I am the only candidate in this race that has signed a taxpayer protection pledge saying I refuse to raise taxes on the people of Illinois. I'm looking forward to a call from Mr. Griffin on uh, next Wednesday morning that we can sit down and have this conversation and hopefully keep him right here in Illinois because we have got to do something because that's not the last of it. If I have not been able to bring together leaders and, can, and develop solutions that can reduce violence, I will hold myself accountable and I will not run for re-election. I've got 400,000 businesses under my wings in an organization I helped found, okay? So I can bring business back here like nobody else. But when I talk about that taxpayer pledge, all right, your silicon, Jesse, I gotta say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say your silicon Sully, okay? Silicon Sully. You come from Silicon Valley. It's a different world than Illinois. That pledge Two is years, that Gary. pledge Two is years. not worth a darn here. Will begin. And momentum has been shifting with just days left until the election. A poll earlier this month by Ogden and Fry had Aurora Mayor Irvin in second place. Bailey had moved into first place with more than 30% of decided voters. Sullivan polled third in the contest and has showed a surge in endorsements recently. The two and Gary Rabine bickered many times throughout the night. They see what's happening. They are electability voters and they say, hey, Richard Irvin no longer can, can be electable. You know who can beat J.B. Pritzker? Not the, not the hand-picked person of J.B. Pritzker who's been spending millions and millions of dollars to endorse and help out Darren Bailey. This is honestly the Democrats' playbook. $11 million of California Democrat money right so, there. Hey, that, that is, that's, that's a false lie. This is not Democrat money that supported me. And uh, that debate just wrapping up here a short time ago. Uh, the primary election, once again, is Tuesday, June 28th. Live in Glen Ellen, Shannon Halligan, WGN News. Thank you, Shannon. WGN will have special live coverage primary night next Tuesday. Coverage of the Illinois general primary starts at 7 o'clock right after the evening news. In addition to results, we'll have a panel of experts, including WGN political reporter Taman Bradley and WGN political analyst Paul Lesnick. We'll cover all the major races with more than a dozen reporters across this state. You can also watch it live on our website, WGNTV.com.